I surprisingly really like it. <laughs> it's like a Chipotle bowl. How does it smell so good but taste so regular? <laughs> oh my God, this is so I scary. Told First of all, I want to thank the members of the military for coming in today and shooting this episode with us. Thanks for having me. My first base was Kadena Air Base in Okinawa, Japan. It truly was a positive experience. I served doing two deployments, part of Operation Hair Resolve, which uh, the Barack Obama administration. I was in the United States Marine Corps Reserve. It's its own unique experience just being in the military. It's another one above and beyond that when you're deployed to a combat zone. Today, we're gonna to be trying some MREs. I knew it. They told me I might be eating something I don't want. I was like, sounds like an MRE to me. It's a meal ready to eat. So it's basically these like astronaut food that comes in a little sack and it's like food that lasts forever apparently. People even in the bag, you know, once they're done with it. What? You know, like it's, oh. a pretty, it's a pretty big bag. I'm not gonna think it's gonna be some Michelin star eats here, but I am quite hungry, so <laughs> bring it on. I got the uh, chili with beans. I have the hash brown potatoes with bacon, peppers, and onions. Sounds good to me. I got beef taco. Here sounds better. All the veggie ones are garbage, straight up. This is the bag that I've seen people in. <laughs> It's very sturdy. It literally smells like, like canned chicken. Oh, it is canned God, chicken, dude, right? I hate spinach. It, it tastes <laughs> like canned chicken. Full disclosure, I was in the Air Force and we were pampered. <laughs> Look at the spinach. It's just jiggling. All right. Look at what I mean. right. this dead chicken junk. Okay. Oh. That bite was so much worse. It is so nasty, man. <laughs> Ugh. Veggie ones are gross. Yo, the beef taco with no shell, though. It's all right. Okay, I'm gonna try it. It tastes like a Del Taco taco. I actually like this. It's just like mush, spicy mush, basically. Like, I mean, obviously it'll keep you full if you're hungry, but probably be one of my last choices. I've actually had this one before. Chili with beans, if you got your own bag of chips, or if you got those crackers that come with it, whatever that comes with, you use that to dip. You can enjoy yourself for five or seven minutes, and it's just like, all right, this was a totally different place before you get back to reality. Pretty good. It's yeah, absolutely. I really like it. The chili with the beans is actually, like I said, is not the worst one out there. Trip down memory lane. It's like commissary right here. This is all good for me. I've never had a chicken burrito bowl. I was eating these mostly in 2005. Hopefully they've changed up the menu somewhat. This is a good sized one. I think this is like a hooked up one. You gotta see what you got in there. I used to love getting the cappuccinos. Only the real, sometimes they'll give you a cappuccino. But um, this is like the lemon lime Gatorade. Coconut macaron cookie. All right. Here's the other good thing about treats. When you're with your team or whatever, this is a good bargaining tool. All right, this is a good motivational tool, morale booster, all that good stuff. Okay, time to start cooking. Oh, this is good eating. Wait, so this is self-heating? Mm-hmm. He going right to it. I'm so confused. Yes. Well, how much water should I pour in? Um, I don't know, just enough to get the little heater thing wet at the bottom oh, there. Okay, okay, okay. Like, I mean, you don't want to fill the bag all the way up, just like about that much. Should I fold it? Yeah, yeah, you'll see some steam coming up eventually. Um, yeah, you can feel it getting hot. Yeah, oh yeah, it's working, holy Whoa, 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 whoa! Yeah, go easy. Yo, that is so cool! This is where I always mess it up, because it's like, for me, it's not heating up fast enough. And then I start playing. I start playing with it, and then it heats up too fast. <laughs> and then I'm just ah. There we go. See what I mean? What I tell you? Then it heats up too fast. That's why it's important not to go past that water line they have. Because if you go past that water line, <laughs> millimeter, this thing is just about to start putting out hot water everywhere. Like now, I'm really trying not to mess. Yeah, because King has now put the fear of God in you. He's told you all these horrors. Oh yeah, but well, good luck. You'll be fine. <laughs> Fold it over. Make sure that heat stays in there. Ooh, it's steaming. Okay. It's like not hot. Oh, it'll heat up. I wouldn't keep your hand there too long. Oh my God. Ah! 
I told you. This is so I scary. Told, I, <laughs> <laughs> I literally can't get the meal pouch in. <gasps> Science. <laughs> This reminds me of the hand heaters I used in like Japan and Korea. Okay, let's give these a few minutes to cook and try something else while we wait. Okay. Cool. All right, time for your next food. All right, we got a vacuum sealed. I don't even know what this is. Apparently these are emergency rations that the Coast Guard uses. Oh yeah, I was never in the Coast Guard, so I never got any of these. These are kind of like granola bars and apparently mm. they don't expire till 2035, so they're oh, like wow. indestructible. <laughs> Damn, sounds appetizing. If you didn't want to eat this, this could also double as a weapon where you could just kind of ninja star it at somebody's forehead. <laughs> this is... <laughs> Smells good. Yeah, I can smell it through the wrapper. Feels like a bar of soap. I would never think it's a granola bar. It seems more of like an object rather than like food. It tastes like that stuff you take for fiber for old people. Yeah, it's really dry, but I think it's all right. All right. Ah. Oh, it's so powdery. Ah. <laughs> I need some water with that. She needs some milk. My mouth is so dry. Yo, you don't really kill me. If I would've inhaled, I would've coughed over everything. This is not good. Ugh. Let's do a little taste now, a little tasty taste. Mmm, 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 mmm. It tastes like a dry cracker. How does it smell so good but taste so regular? Mmm. It's really dry. No, it doesn't really taste like anything. All right, now that your burrito bowls are fully cooked, it is time to try them. Yo, this is hot, bro. Yeah, oh, yeah go easy. The steam gets real. This smells really good. Mmm, I taste good. This is good. If you got this, you're not trading it. This is Chipotle. I think that might be a shot at Chipotle. Oh, it's similar to the beef taco that I just ate. Probably just switched out the beef for chicken. It smells like beans. Spicy beans. <laughs> this one's better. There's meat in it. Mm -hmm. Automatically it's better. Not everybody likes MREs. Mm -hmm. So like, usually you could get what you wanted because somebody would just be like, no thanks, I don't want mine. I surprisingly really like it. <laughs> it's like a Chipotle bowl. They're a little bit spicier than I remember. Like I remember them being more mild, but it's good. You know, I don't mind a little extra flavor. Chicken burrito bowl. Listen, stop complaining out there, it people. It's pretty good to me, it's honestly. It's not terrible. And people complain, I get it, but it's not terrible. Oh. I agree though, it's really not terrible. It tastes like, um, I don't know, one of the cheaper Mexican places you can go to to get some chicken rice and bean bowl, right? And McDonald's served it. This is what it'll taste like. But it'll keep you alive and it may or may not allow you to use the bathroom. So we'll see. <laughs> Lastly, uh, out of all the meals you tried today, which one was your favorite? I'm gonna go with the one I just ate, the chicken taco or whatever it was. The chicken burrito bowl was pretty solid. A lot of flavor, the meat was good. This is like the last place I ever expected to be eating an MRE in Hollywood, yeah. California. <laughs> you know, I, you, you could have told me that 15 years ago when I was in Iraq, you know, in 2005, I'd be like, no way. Thanks for watching us try some MREs on replay. Don't forget to subscribe. We have new shows every week. Bye, and once again, thank you to all the veterans out there. Hey guys, Nick here. Want to see more of your favorite reactors? You can get access to exclusive live streams, bonus footage, and more at our brand new memberships program. That's fbesuper.com, and we will see you there. Bye.